How to handle colic in babies If your baby cries for more than 3 hours a day frequently, that's not normal. Do you get frustrated when your baby cries intensively and nothing seems to work? All babies cry and get fussy sometimes, but those with colic cry more. Get to know more about colic in babies including causes, symptoms, and treatment from this video. Let's start. What is colic? Colic occurs when your healthy infants cry frequently and excessively for prolonged periods. Your little one cries for no apparent reason for more than 3 hours a day, at least 3 days a week for more than 3 weeks. The episodes usually occur during the evening. And colic can be frustrating for new parents as it is difficult to console the baby from stopping crying. And why should you know about colic? For parents like me, it can be hugely challenging to manage a cranky child. It brings on a lot of stress, frustration, and guilt. Colic has been known to increase the risk of postpartum depression in mothers. And the excessive crying may sometimes lead to shaking the baby too powerfully to calm them. And this could cause severe damage to the brain and can even lead to the death of the baby. When does the colic begin? Colic can start anytime within a few weeks after birth. The episodes tend to get severe when the baby turns 6 weeks old and generally last till 3 to 4 months. And what are the symptoms of colic? During the first 3 months, it is normal for infants to cry and fuss. But babies with colic cry more, even if there is no underlying health condition. So you must know a few signs of colic which you can notice in your child, like Crying without any reason, even if they have been fed. Fussiness after crying. Crying like they are suffering from pain. Episodes occur in the evening. Facial changes like turning bright red when crying. Stiffness in legs, arms, abdomen, plain space. And how is colic treated? There is no specific treatment for colic as it goes away on its own within a few months. However, you can follow some steps to reduce its severity and duration. Like, try soothing them by using a pacifier, swaddle the baby in a blanket, keep changing their body position, walk around holding the baby, and if they are feeling discomfort due to the gas, hold them in an upright position. Massage their backs and rock them in the arms. Dim the lights to reduce the visual stimulation and make skin-to-skin -skin contact by holding them with their bare bodies touching yours. And you must feed your baby using a carb bottle in an upright position. The baby must burp before, during, and after feeding. And dear parents, though colic is temporary and does not cause any short, long-term medical issues for the baby, it can be extremely trying situation for us parents. And educating ourselves about the issue and learning proper soothing the techniques is crucial. The more we inform, the better you will be able to comfort your baby. I've been in that situation, and trust me, it is very difficult and very stressful stage of being mom. I use anti-colic belt from my little one, and thanks God, it's worked for him. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and if you are a parent that experience having a baby with colic, please comment below. Thank you.